Hello, in today's tutorial I'm going to talk about VCPKG integration with CMake for your new OpenCV project. And uh, this video is continuation of my previous talk where I discussed VCPKG package manager integration with Visual Studio. So if uh, you, you are missing some basics in today's talk, I can recommend to reach out to my previous video for some basics. And let's have started. So just a very basic recap of basic vcpkg command. The first one is search and the name of the library you want to install. And this search command give you a list of options, available options you can achieve and install by vcpkg. This is actually done by vcpkg install name of the library and in the square bracket you are basically putting here your configuration. So here is ffmpeg, gsstreamer and uh, I would like to, to install x64 windows uh, configuration here. This install command take a while because it's uh, download all the prerequisites, build the prerequisites from source and build the OpenCV from the source. So it's gather prerequisites as well, which is perfect. And at the very end, it will give you some message that uh, how to configure this in a CMake project. So there is some how to find the required package and uh, where OpenCV directory is located. After the successful installation of the library, you can use VCPKG integrate install to have this library ready for all your projects. Now have a look on CMake project structure. The main project directory is opencv underscore p1. Inside this directory I have my build directory, I have my CMake list file and I have my source file main cpp. And that's it, it's quite easy and uh, quite simple. So now CMake list content, uh, it's a very simple one. You want to set the minimum required version of uh, CMake. The project has some name and uh, it's using some library. So you want to find package for OpenCV and protobuf is actually used by OpenCV DNN module. And uh, this find package command is actually prompt after the successful installation of your library. So, so that's it. Now you would like to find some executor, which is our main CPP and will be built as main. And now the linking, uh, we are linking some OpenCV libraries and some protobuf dependencies. So that's quite it. So now, uh, if uh, we have our source and our CMake list in place, uh, we can go and enter the build directory. So just go inside this directory and we will issue some CMake command. The first command is using uh, CMake toolchain file, which point to the VCPKG build system and we would like to generate project for Visual Studio 17 and uh, we will use project in x64. So this command issued from the build directory will configure our project. The next command which is uh, cmake build and even forward this dot issue from the build directory 
will basically build and link our project together. So first one configuration, the second one is building and linking. And now have a look how this looks like in real. So currently I'm in Visual Studio Code and uh, I have my source file uh, which is using OpenCV library and uh, I'm using this GS streamer uh, pipeline to send the video outside of my basic uh, open CV video processing loop but uh, that's not part of today's tutorial I have my CMake list here which have a uh, minimum required uh, CMake version project name and it's using and try to find the open CV and protobuf libraries I would like to add the main CVP source file and I'm linking uh, OpenCV and uh, Protobuf libraries of, uh, together with my project. So I have empty build directory and as I'm inside the build directory I would like to first configure my CMake project. So CMake I would like to use VCDKG toolchain file. I would like to generate project for Visual Studio 17 and uh, standard uh, use uh, C14 and for platform x64. So I will hit enter and uh, let the CMake configure my Visual Studio 17 project. So as uh, we will do several steps, basically checking uh, what he can do and if the configuration is, uh, let's say, without any error. So now I have my configuration done and generating done. So in the build directory, we can see some, uh, some uh, configuration files as well, the project for Visual Studio 17. So configuration down, now my CMake and build, so this dot issued from the build directory, I can build and link my source code. So you can see that I have this, uh, I produced this debug main. So let's have a look, we are in debug and there is the, where it is, here is main dot so our executor module is in place in the build in the debug directory and uh, all possible dependent DLLs are in place so you can run directly without setting for example the global DLL locations and everything is in your project directory so that's all Today I show you how to use uh, VCPKG and CMake integration, how easy it is to uh, set up the project, basically it contains one directory, build directory, CMake list and the source code, and how to configure and how to build your project together with CMake and VCPKG. And if you like these talks, please subscribe and uh, thank you. See you next time.